Hey everybody, welcome to Unsealed and Revealed. Clapping and general amusement and happiness and excitement. Uh, this is the first one of the new year. You guys excited? Ooh. I know I am. Uh, very excited to be going over this piece uh, with my amazing coasts, co-hosts, co crew. I don't know if it was what. Coast. New Year, New Year, New Words. How about that? Uh, next to me, uh, on the ones and twos, we have Bree. Bree is taking your questions, comments, and concerns in the Facebook and YouTube live uh, videos. So don't be afraid uh, to ask any questions that you need to know when we get there. Uh, as always, over there to my left, to your right, uh, my man, six scale expert, Guy Clender. Guy, yeah. how you doing? I'm doing all right. Happy newest year to you. Yes, indeed. And uh, even though they call this the negative suit, we're going to stay positive because that's a pretty cool figure. I do. I do like that. Yes, that's right. We are 100% going to be going over the Hot Toys six scale negative suit Spider-Man from Marvel's Spider-Man. I'm really, really excited to go over this piece. Accidentally got a sneak peek of it when you were going over it. And yes. I am really excited. It looks super cool. The Everything about it looks great. So, Guy, I'm going to send it over to you right now. Why don't we Thank go through you. this? Um, it's always fun because when, when I come in, I, I look at these for just a little bit. Jeff doesn't want to see them. I don't want to see them. He's like, no, no. So it's, it's like he's watching the show as well. So, okay, let's take a look at our uh, the art box uh, to start off with because this is, uh, this is kind of a fun one. Uh, we've had a lot of the shoe box uh, recently, and this is not that. Um, you get the artwork of the figure. Now, this is not a photograph of the figure this time, uh, but is actually uh, unique artwork to it alone. You can see, particularly in the hand area here, you'll see kind of that paint work uh, that's been done. Um, but I'm going to set it up on the turntable because this is what I think is neat about it. That it looks good? It is wraparound art. Oh, cool. All right. I like how proud you are. Uh, I am. I, I really thought that was a... A, a really neat. Uh, You're like it is ready for this. It is ready for this. Goes I just like that it it continues around. Um, you know, there's there've been certain comic books where you put them on the shelf together and then there's a different image. Oh yeah. So this kind of has that, and I thought that was a neat idea. It's a great box. It's one of the better boxes I've yes. seen here. On the back, we're gonna get credits. all of our our credits, and then on our other side showing our negative suit Spider-Man. It's funny because the color scheme that we have here, it's almost making it a little, it's so, it's very artistic and very cool and very mm -hmm. sleek. Uh, and when you when you turned it into the camera, I almost couldn't see what it said because it was just so like yeah, design perfect. Exactly. It was, um, this is also magnetic snap closure. Ooh. Folds like, open. Like a fancy shoe into box. Into the box. All right, so I'm gonna take this off here now, but I did want, um, I wanted to show off the fact that the box did that uh, wrap around. Yeah, I thought really that was cool. That was a really neat idea. And so now you're gonna pull it out on the bottom. So you don't pull it out by opening the flap. No, the box. no, the flap is, is uh, what, we, really what we kind of refer to as a window box. Um, so when you open it up, you'll see in. However, inside the flap on ours here, are two uh, accessories that we're going to wait until the end and, and give it a whirl. Oh, yeah? We, I've not played with those before. Um, I like a good accessory. Uh, which is kind of neat. So we're going to set the box off to the side for a moment. Guy, don't forget about the box. It's what? got accessories in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I That's just me reminding you for later. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Did you think I was concerned right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm like, oh, I thought well, that we went over that. Oh, Guy. All right. Um, oh, guy. I'm just being a good yes. dude. Did you wear white just to match the figure? Yes, I did. Aw. Yes, I did. If there's one thing I know about Guy, he shows up to play. I was I was told right off we were not going to shoot the show in, in negative. I oh, he wanted to do of, the show in I wanted to do the show monochromatic, and I was told no. That would not happen. <laughs> uh, but it would have been fun, uh, just for me. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. Um, top tray, we've got our uh, smaller tray, which is going to have our two uh, magnetic bombs, our two smaller grenade styles, our two um, uh, Spidey faces that are kind of an old school thing they did. The Vulture, uh, the Vulture Smasher, I think they call it. Yeah. Uh, his cell phone, and then four different uh, web slingers. Underneath that tray, oh, we have the web, the web tray. We have our web tray, and underneath the web tray, 
we're going to have our, claw. our Dynamics dynamic stand clamp. Man, this is an efficient packaging job right here. Yep, yep, efficient packaging job. I like how you opened with, here are the bombs. And I was <laughs> just like, wait, what a second? There, there, there's what now? There's bombs. Yep, there's the end and they're magnetic. It's kind of fun. Uh, for those of you that uh, will probably be displaying this in one of your mini um, uh, IKEA uh, yes, display sir. cases. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they'll, uh, they can attach, which is kind of neat. Um, next one here that you have that uh, has a little uh, remove is your additional eye swap out. Now this is cool. And this is neat. We didn't see this uh, with our, our Scarlet Spider that we uh, went over here on the show. Um, this one here has the interchangeable eyes. Um, and we're going to do that as well. But uh, we're going to take the figure out, but I want to go over um, the additional things that you have in here. Yes. You do have an instruction sheet. Guys, favorite part. Yes, of the piece I love the instruction sheet. Um, the reason I, I always go into this is because you're a nerd. It's well, you know, proceed with caution when pulling out the eyepieces and things like that. Um, it's it's important to know kind of how to do it. The last thing you want to do is don't tear out the eyes all willy nilly. Think that you think that you've got it, um, but it will also show you inside uh, that there are specific hands to use for uh, his specific uh, abilities, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's pull him out, and we're going to discuss the suit. It looks so good, man. Now, I have removed, we're going to spin him around here. I've removed, when he comes in the box, he's going to have uh, plastic that's wrapped around the uh, wrists and hands and down on the feet. That's what I'm going to use those safety scissors to cut those off. And the reason I'm going to tell you to use the safety scissors is um, because this is on that tight suit that's around that body, you don't want to keep yanking pull it, it, yeah, it and, 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 and put me. additional stress, okay? Um, there's also a plastic shield over the head. Um, oh, for a second, I thought those in the armpits, I thought that was his web. I thought he would have yeah, like, he the, web, the web no. things. There's just a couple couple under there. But now let's take a look, and we're going to spin oh, him around. I mean, we're going to spin him around because... Yeah, because it's neat. He's, he's doing squats, man. Exactly. Um, this is the muscular suit we've seen uh, used with him before. Um, this is the photo negative suit. So if you happen to have the advanced suit one or if you have the um, scarlet, this is going to be that same uh, body underneath. Um, but let's take a look at it. The black and white lines on here are great. And uh, at least on the one that we have here in studio, uh, the webbing on the head, the texturing and the lines are real tight. Yeah, uh, there's not any slop lines yeah. or anything like that, um, which I know has been a concern with people going, well, uh, what if it's, it's sloppy looking? And we're not, I'm not seeing that on this one here. Um, we're gonna work our way down. Emblem on the front kind of has that bluish glow. I love that blue. Because that blue just, glow. That um, little addition of the blue really makes the rest of the black and white piece pop. Yes. Um, the other thing that makes it pop, and it's it's kind of a new thing, and I lucked out on my tour of Sideshow to learn a little bit more about ways in which this is being done when they're actually printing on the fabric. Um, if this were just straight white, yeah. it would it would be kind of bland, but they've actually added those gray areas, um, you know, in the arm area here. Uh, I'm trying to do this around. The dye sublimation the, aspect. Exactly. That, yeah. Um, and we'll see a little bit more of it down in the leg uh, and Look back area. Look at that butt. I, yep. I, I got to be honest, that's, uh, you know, good, good for him. Is it, it's, that's not America's, but, uh, you know. It's, it's Brooklyn's. It's, it's Brooklyn's. It's it, exactly, exactly. But again, you are um, seeing down here in those legs um, where they've printed onto that fabric. So it gives it a little bit more depth. That sort of 3D texture to it. Yes. An already 3D piece really adds an extra yeah, level of adds, depth. Yeah, adds an extra thing to it. All right. Once we've moved our way down and uh, my camera in there is showing the shoes off. Oh, no. Guess what that means. This is important stuff to talk about. So um, on here, he's got the design of this. It's kind of these over... Here, turn them a little bit, please, yeah. so it faces the camera. There yeah. we go. See how it kind of turns there? Now, those are not necessarily glued on. So whenever you're going to be moving those, you're going to want to be cautious on that. Okay. Also, um, it is in the instructions to be cautious about this back foot area. Okay? 
Hey guy, mm -hmm. while we got you there. While we've got it, while we've got him there. We might as well go like for a tread check. Tread How? check. Tread watch. Did I get the name wrong? How long have we been doing this show? Tread watch, and boy does that look cool. Give it an angle up. Angle it up a little bit more. Yeah, it's a toy. You can move it. We. It's hard because I'm looking at it. There it is. That's right. Let the light hit it so you can really see that really cool tread there. Okay, and this is. Ooh, oh, articulated in that foot. Oh, I like that. Okay, so we can turn that to the side. You can see. So we can do more Spidey posing. Articulated in that foot. Okay. Again, um, as I've frequently talked about uh, in How to Be a Poser uh, and watching that show about getting close down to where you're you're moving uh, the figure, particularly down here on those feet with yeah. um, with those little elements. Um, as I said, they're not glued on, so if you're putting additional stress on them, you don't want to necessarily pull them out. Um, there has been discussion, I know people have asked about um, the suit itself and creases. Um, we're going to zoom in on one of the feet. When he comes in box, take a look. There is a little bit of creasing. Okay. Um, it doesn't concern me too much. I feel like that's what Spider-Man would have. I mean, yes. Yeah. A, a, a fully... Um, sleek, now I can have the foot go downward. And you can remove that. that and yeah, it's going to come just, out. And that's I could, how literally I could, anything with fabric yeah, works. Yeah, I could use it on the dynamic stand. But I know there there is discussion about that. Now, because there's not any um, uh, plastic type or printing on it, other than I said the color, yeah. I don't have to worry that it's going to like that rip would stuff be, off. That would be weird to me to not have that kind of To not have... Like, that would to, make yeah. me feel like it's just painted, like a suit painted on to yeah, the doll. Yeah, it really wouldn't, uh, Which, really wouldn't weird, show right? it too much. That doesn't seem like a lot, of, a lot of effort. Now, let's take a look up here. Did you just rip his eye out? No, I didn't. Nope. Did you just permanently nope. blind? No. Negative suit Spider-Man from I, Marvel I Spider-Man? I did nothing negative. Six scale from Hot Toys? No. Um... We are going to remove two of the eyes. It's like Operation when I bring those tweezers out, isn't it? Um, Imagine if that was a part of Operation. You have to pull the dude's eyes out? You have to pull the dude's eyes out. That'd it's be dark. Really freakish. Um, hey, guy. Yes? Is the material on this figure the same as the material on the last one from Marvel Games? Uh, um, when you say last one, I'm, I'm guessing they're referring to the um, one that uh, we talked about. Um, well, the advanced the, suit, maybe I think. I think what you're what you're probably asking is advanced suit, yeah. and yes, okay. same material but done in a different color scheme. Okay, <laughs> almost so, a negative color scheme. But um, so like that's um, the actual much color. of much of what that is 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 um, is done on this as well. Yeah. All right. So um, that yeah. actually saves though some, like it gives us a little bit of base information if you do have that advanced suit, Spidey. Yes. That you can sort of build off of that and go through with it. I mean, this is a really cool piece. Now, I like that. Here's color. our here's our Spidey head. I don't want to show you how we do this. It tells you on here that all you want to do is on the upper part, you give it a little push. And let me see if I can angle it right. And you see the bottom corner of the eye will lift. On the back of all the eyes, our little magnets. Oh, look at that. So I'll remove these two. And, and that's how you in, pose him. And yeah. With no eyes. With no eyes. And there's two new ones in. Oh, cool. That kind of, that has the, the a cool vibe to it. it gives yeah. You that sort of like the Ramita era. Yeah, um, and these have with. kind of that silverish uh, look to the... Um, to the vibe, to the yeah, lens, yeah. To the lens part. Uh, versus that uh, black and other colors that we had in the uh, traditional suit. Well, what are the? Isn't you say there's another set of eyes? Uh, yes, there is. Well, can you put those in? Of course. I would like to see them. You I know. mean, we're talking about all these eyes. We might as well see them. Right? We might as well see them, right? All right. The last eyes. I'm gonna. Last set of eyes is going on. Wild guy blinds Peter Parker. Is it Peter Parker? I think that is, right? This is specifically Peter Parker. Uh, from the game, yes. Yes. I was like, someone played the game. It's Peter Parker, right? It's an older, more 
More experienced Peter Parker. And there we go. Oh, I like that one too. I bet you, oh, you know what you could do too is you could switch out one of the eyes with another one and you could have that wanna, like that, wanna, that classic wanna, one eye open, one you eye kind, wink. Of, kind of winking. I like that. I mean, we've done some cool stuff with that uh, with that sort of visualization. I know that um, we've even done some statues and stuff that? like that. That's yeah, right. I think that's pretty cool. All right. Well, we're going to leave that there for now. You don't think that's cool? I think it's I do. Cool. I do. How, how, Brie, how do you feel about that? I think it's super cool. Um, but let's, uh, while we've got on the turntable, let's let's uh, actually do a spin around on here to really show off that texture uh, that we have. It, it's funny because I was actually concerned when you first had the head mm -hmm. that the, some of the white wasn't showing and it almost looked smudged. If you, like, if you look at it from that angle, mm -hmm. it's almost like, oh, did it get smudged? And no, it's actually like rooted right. in specifically. Yeah, in there you'd go, uh-oh, is it, is, it, is it a sloppy paint line? Or and then it, no, it's actually no, very, it's a very tight one, and it's um, really cool. They are actually um, recessed. The lines are actually recessed down in. Um, this is not fabric, this is sculpted. The rest of the suit, you're going to have fabric, but this is a sculpted piece. Is there right. a texture to the lens? To the, to the eye lens? Yes. No, the eye lens itself is smooth. The, Just like the, the kind of grayish, uh, I'm going to point here. This grayish silver area is smooth. <laughs> there you go. Okay, um, so it's, it's smooth. But there is a raised texture to the white that those around it. Okay. Um, okay. Mm, good. All right. All right. Um, now, another fun accessory. And oh. this one, look at that. It's in color. Uh, yeah, the, the vibrance of that color when you first opened the box to show it. Yeah, boom. I was like, man, what's that red thing? Boom, you see that. And this is the little spider drone. All right. And he has eight little articulated arms. So you can make it look rather menacing. Kind of do it however you'd like, but you do have eight individually articulated. It's a neat little fun design. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very bright. What a cool little little thing to come with it, too. He has a very, very bright uh, red, a pure, like, candy apple Did this come with red. the advanced suit as well? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay. This was part of the advance. So they want to make sure that you get that. Yep. So you have that, nice that one. Um, since we're talking about it, let's see some of the others. Take out some take out some bombs, bro. Take out some bombs, bro. All right. Let's take out the different ones and show them off. Show off our bombs. I'm really getting into doing that whole tweezers and uh, operation game. Is that like a box cutter? What's the yellow thing? This one here? Yeah, I use that to cut the um, nope, tape. Nope, literally on the platform. No, oh, the, nope, that is the, um, that is the vulture. Oh, okay. Uh, when he uh, subdues the vulture. Did you prep for this, by the way? Yes. What'd you do? Um, I did play the game you and I really am not good at it. I'm not good at it, but you failed uh, at the game. I did, yeah. I am not good at it because some I saw somebody was asking because I don't know if you guys uh, are aware of this guy prepares endlessly um, for every one of these episodes, and so yeah, I was wondering if you. But were um, yes, but I did. I did play the game. I didn't get to play with this suit too much because I just couldn't get to that level. Yeah, you have to um, earn the suit. Um, is the is the spider drone magnetic? No, spider drone is not magnetic. However. These two ones here, which I think they refer to in the breakdown, I think they call them the sticky bombs, um, do have a small magnet on the bottom. And you know what? Uh, pull the other one out. So if you do have one of those IKEA uh, cases, it's kind of a neat thing to do, but... It's just surround Spider-Man with a bunch of bombs? They're all, uh, like I said, they're magnetic. Stuck together on there. <laughs> Um, Poor Brett on the camera trying to follow your hand when you did I'm that. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, I'll do that again real tight on ears. They stick together. So, yes. Those are magnetic. Oh, a couple of birds of a feather here. Um, and since we're, we're going to stay on the turntable um, to kind of uh, show off all the different accessories. And uh, my uh, cameraman won't want to punch me. Some of my favorite. I, Those are the, I love that. I, I love this play yeah. dance. 
The splayed hands for me are always one of my favorites. That always, um, I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch the G.I. Joe cartoon, and it was like Marvel Entertainment, and it would, it would, yes. Spidey would kind of like, Spidey would have the hand, that. the hand I used coming to out. I see that every time, and I'd be like, I don't know why Spider Man is on my G.I. Joe cartoon, but I do. Don't respect. I care. Yeah. Um, our traditional web sling. Here's one of our specialty hands. Whoops. That's a split-fingered fastball, I believe. What's neat it's about it is because a... you said that, it is so. Yeah. You can hold this little bump and launch it in there. This is also the hand you'll use with the sticky ones. Okay, if you do. Another hand in here. My operation game. This one here with the little thumb, oops, with the little thumb, oh. and that is for the vulture. That's for flipping coins. Yes, that is for the for his taser. Holds the little. Uh, it would be nice to think of it as just him with a little box cutter, and like working in the yep sideshow warehouse. And then you get sure a fist hand. Is good, good studious. Studious Spidey, that's what we want. Studious. Is there a stand to hold the drone? To hold the... Drone. No. Nope. The drone is a little... Just, hang, uh, just hangs out with you. Little crawler. Little it, floor crawler. Yeah, it looked like uh, with the... It looked like his underbelly had some kind of a magnet on the drone, but that... It, yes, it's sense. just the design. Yeah. But there's not. It's not It's not a magnetic piece. It's just part of the design. Can you see that again? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's just part of their design. Little, little terrifying Roomba. I like his, I like his little piece. Oh, look at that! <laughs> that's where he needs to poke a vicious enemy directly in the eyes. Yes, that's when you want to reenact um, your uh, Three Stooges scenes. Yeah. Are there magnets in the hands to hold the bombs? No, you do not need um, magnets to hold them. Um, that's the little hand I just showed here. The split fingered fastball. The split, uh, yeah. We'll so call it the split like finger a, fastball. A friction hold, yeah. Okay, that'll hold here. I set the little bomb back there. And we'll also just do one with our magnetic ones. Okay, now, they're not a solid hard plastic, so I just kind of adjusted his uh, forefinger here. Okay, so I've got a little bit of play in there. So I just kind of lifted it and. I'd probably want to put those on something magnetic. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. The fact that they have magnets is is fun. And so many people, um, you know, have these cases that have the metal. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a neat thing to just have them set up there. But no, there are no magnets in the hands to hold the things. They've given you specific designs uh, for it. Even one for his hand. And, and those are, as I said, they are uh, talked about in the... Um, instructions that you've got. Like he actually has a cell phone hand. Now this cell phone, however, hold it up. He's, he's, he's kind of in the power off mode. Oh yeah, because I remember the Scarlet Spider. Scarlet had, Spider had, had, had his on, yeah. like Instagram page and how many followers and likes it had. Yeah. This one, um, I don't know, maybe. Well, it's the negative image. It's the negative image. <laughs> Absolutely no followers. Um, but that's in there as well. Um, the last uh, little bits in here uh, that we'll talk about, um, these are kind of a fun little thing, and he uses them to track the um, villain characters in the, in the game, and that's the old style. Spider tracers. Spider tracer. It looks kind of like what he used to have on his belt to project. Exactly. Remember the old spider trackers used to be like little white spiders that yeah. he would shoot. Uh, this is not magnetic either, but it, it's a neat little... Um, thing and you have two of those. All right, two of those are in there. Um, oh, next fine. up is that we have. I love all these Spideys that are coming with like little fun accessories. Yeah, a little fun. Our Spider Man, it was just the guy. It was just the guy. You just I got mean, the guy. You know, I get a drone, I get a cell phone, I get a sticky bomb, yeah. I or, get a. Or sometimes it would be like a thing that you'd get and it wasn't even, it didn't even fit. You're like, here's Spider Man with a parachute. Yeah. And you're like, all right, but I don't remember him needing a parachute at any point. A, 
a, a real parachute here. Uh, um, in, uh, in the box, you're going to get two additional um, web slingers, okay? Slightly different designs, if we can uh, go tight on those. And then there's the third set that is already on the wrists of the figure, okay? So if you're going to swap those out, you're going to remove the hands, taking that one off, and I'll put... Terran some. hands, bro? Yep. Now make sure, as Terry taught us on how to be a poser, that when you remove those hands, you don't just tug at the hand. Yep. Uh, you you want to get close and you want to... So there you go. And rip it off. So there's one of the other ones I've put on. It's, it's just different posabilities for you. I mean, it's, again, do they have to give you that? No. No, yeah, not, not in the least. It's, but. It seems like they're really amping up like the, like, here's a bunch of extra stuff because, you know, yeah. it, it's, it's a, you know, you said it's a palette swap of um, the, the, whatchamacallit suit, the advanced suit. The advanced but suit. they gave you so much more with, like, the eyes. Um, the design itself is very sleek and everything, but like the way they did the hands and the accessories, they just really knocked it out of the park. Yeah. Um, because you brought that up, I do want to um, show again what Terry has talked about in in there. Um, you can't gonna, do an episode without shouting out Terry. No, I know. And he's going to come in a few weeks. Talk about like a, a fan meetup. Um, when you remove the hand, the nerd. which, you know, when I did, if I'm removing or placing on the hand, get close to the joint, okay? I removed it here. Gently give this a bit of a turn as I'm pulling downward. With yeah, it. yeah, if you're going for this, you don't wanna, Okay. if you got this, don't like trash it. All right, so um, can we zoom in here? Cause I kinda want you to see, there we go. Um, See how around the ball joint there is a tight collar? That's for holding your uh, web slinger so it still has a sleek look to it. So I'm going to put back on the uh, the original one. Put that web shooter back on there. Put that web shooter back on. What was I doing? Again, a little gentle. I mean, that's the neat part is you can do all this stuff with them, but you still want to be... A little bit gentle. Uh, do we have any questions so we far? We do. We have a question specifically for you guys. Yes. What was your first Hot Toys figure and when and where did you get it? My first Hot Toys figure was the uh, original Mark III suit Iron Man. Ooh. And I was at a charity show and it was a giveaway. And I put in a raffle ticket and lo and behold... So you won an addiction. Yes, I won an you addiction. Won an addiction. <laughs> so your first was free, uh, or a dollar in that case. That's um, awesome. But that wow. was that That's was a my, pretty good deal. Can I have it for free? Yes. Well, no, you <laughs> have it for the dollar because I paid a dollar. I'll give you two dollars for it, man. Well, okay, then. That's a hundred percent So far, I've doubled profit. my I've doubled my money. So, um, see, they say you? it's a great investment. Um, my uh, shelf space means that I don't get a lot of space for hot toys. I do have several sideshow pieces, but I have not yet dove into the six scale hot toys market. Uh, but my first sideshow piece is the exclusive 3PO with the busted up arm. Uh, nice. That's so fun. And then I have, uh, I have a Han Solo and Carbonite. Uh, Ooh. I have a, a Darth Maul. I have some cool ones. I go a little Star Wars-y, but uh, what I want... My grail, which I didn't realize it was crazy rare now, is the Mark V. Yep. Like, the Mark V is my favorite Iron Man suit of all time. Didn't And I was like, hey, if you find one of those, hook me up. And just everybody was just looking at me like I was the dumbest person in the world. Yeah. They're like, that's, no, we're not going to do that. Um, I want that Mark V so bad. Let's talk about some of the uh, the webs. Okay, now these are, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them on the turntable as well. We have seen these webs before. These have been um, what they have been coming with. All right, I'm going to lay them all out here, and we'll discuss. Okay. Let's talk webs. That's the stuck-to-the-wall web. This one is my favorite. This is the kind of um, Has that lasso vibe loop. to it. Yeah. The, um, the kind of loose... Yep. The loose, like, rope webbing that you have. The roped web, yeah. yes. And I, I, I really dig that one. 
This is one we've, we've uh, showed off here before. Um, that's my favorite of them. Um, we also have the kind of splooch. Yeah, the, the swinging from the, the solo rope. Um, now this one here has a little uh, notch in there and then you can put the different webs in it. Like I can have it there. Now the thing is, is this does have some weight to it, so it will have a downward arc. But normally I think you'd wind up kind of placing it against yeah, the wall. Yeah, you place it up against the wall. This is what we've showed before um, on there, that if you um, put it up against the wall, then it's going to look great. Um, yeah, because that's weird. Like it's also like you don't want to like glue it or, or tape right. it. Or yeah, no, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do that. Um, you also have the, and these will all fit in the. Um, I'm going to take out uh, one of the uh, other web slingers, which is nice because this one has the others, which so you can plug them in. Is I can plug them in and kind of show them off. I do like these ones too. Yes. The, like the bullet shot, the one that's like as it's coming out initially. Yeah. I do like these yes. ones. Uh, is the costume or are any of the accessories uh, illuminescent under black light or any other light? Do you, know? Uh, you know, we don't have. We don't do. Black. I don't think we, don't we have, have black, black light, light here in the yeah. in the studio. Yeah. Um, it might be though. Because it, it, are we a store in the mall? Can we get a black light in here yeah. real quick? <laughs> is there a Spencer's? Um, uh, we do have a black light somewhere. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Uh, as far as I know, he does not, and I have a feeling that that's the kind of thing. If it did have any luminescent qualities uh, added to it, that would definitely be something they'd tell you in their descriptions. Um, it wouldn't be a, oh, yeah, we forgot to mention that. Now, um, we have talked a little bit about um, when you're using these webs, they do not link together. Okay. You can't have a crazy long web. Right. Um, it, you know, it may look like that in some shots that have been done, but... Those are usually perspective, forced perspective, and exactly. Um, but you can do a straight out shot. And what's the sound? Thwip. Thwip. And then what? What when it lands? When splooch. it hits? Is it? Is it splooch? That's gross. Uh, uh, splooch. It seems more like a spack <laughs> or something like that. You okay, spack. Like a spack. I think so. splooch is a good. It's that's it makes me I feel uncomfortable it even looks saying like that word. Splooch word. to me. Splooch. I mean. Well, there you go. As you can see, that's how we could do it. And that's if I had whatever you know wall or you know if you uh, accessory piece I wanted to uh, lay it up against, um, I could get that kind of look to it. So. Do we have any other Spider Spider-Man? We in have the, uh, one. The building. We have uh, Iron Suit Spider-Man. Yeah, Iron We're Suit. We're asking for a comparison. Yeah, but we don't have don't the. Um, is there comparison? What comparison would they like to see? I think they were they were hoping we had an advanced yeah. suit. Yeah. Oh, an advanced uh, probably the advanced suit. Um, it looks like that, but it's the, more. Red. Yeah, <laughs> the advanced suit and this one are going to be almost identical. They're going to be identical in height and style of the suit. However, that color again. Uh, as we talked about, that'll obviously be yeah. uh, different. That's what sets this one apart. I um, like that piping too around the rib cage, like the oblique yeah. piping that comes down. Yeah. It's really sleek. Um, this makes it look like it's like a spy or something. It's it's really kind of cool. It's. It reminds me I of wish Secret I would, War. It was. It looked like a really neat part of the game if I was any good at it uh, and could get any further along in it. Um, I just kind of kept falling off stuff. Are any of the joints on the body ratcheted? Well, let's, let's take a look, question. folks, and let's discuss. Um, because we've t we're talking about the joints, we're also going to talk about um, the flexibility. Um, it does kind of say in here, and we've said this before, um, that they'll talk about leaving them in dynamic poses. And how long can you leave one in, and how long would you? What did they say, like two weeks or something? And that's, I really think that, again, this is going to depend on the humidity and heat of your room. Uh, you do want to keep a figure like this out of sunlight anytime that it's, you know, those kind of things. The elements are going to wear on, so on a So like figure. the jungle, good or bad for posing your, your hot toys Spider-Man in a Oh, not a, a Spider-Man, but boy, if you had a Predator figure, that would look really neat there. I mean, you know, I'm sure we could scrounge one up. Yeah. Um, so can let's I, talk can I get fle one? flexibility there. <laughs> We've got uh, 120 degrees on our elbow joint oh. right there. All right, so good flexibility there. Um, 90. You asked about ratcheting? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Can, you, can, you, can anybody yeah. hear that? 
Can they hear that? I don't know, but there's a microphone right above you. I'm actually sending you a secret code. God, this might be my favorite um, shot of the show. Uh, <laughs> but this yes. guy holding a toy right up there. <laughs> up to the mic direction. Moving the arms back and forth. Send Morse code messages. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> For those of you <laughs> hoping that we're going to, quote, pizza. drop a code, yeah. that was the code. There it is. You just got to know what it is. You got to decipher it. Play it back. Um, uh, I've always liked... Spider Man is just an, is is very neat. Um, I love the suit so much, and there's, a, there's always this part in Spider Man lore in like the comics a lot where they make fun of the suit, where they're always they always talk about how his suit looks ridiculous or something like that. And I'm like, oh man, whoever wrote that doesn't actually see the suit, right? Right, because it is too damn cool. Um, now there is flexibility in it that when I have the arm like so. Kind of turn it down here. Obviously, it's going to wrinkle. This is what fabric does. Um, if you're worried or, or concerned that that's going to be an issue, um, choose a pose that doesn't do that or change the pose quite frequently. Yeah, just change the pose, man. It, um, like, honestly, museum posing for a Spider-Man piece just seems awkward to me. Like, you should be having fun. Spider-Man yeah. is, a, is a massively posable character. Like, right. He's, I mean, in all honesty, we wish he was even more posable because of the, you know, There's well, so you, much you and I have talked about it, the, the McFarlane versions of Spider-Man. That's in it. When it yeah, the really Larson got, and McFarlane stuff. Yeah, it really got really. very gymnastic. Yeah. Um, and things like that. So um, speaking of that, let's take a look at that, um, how far down we can do the chest. Okay. Ooh. Now, the ratcheting we talked about um, that you'd asked about, really, I've only noticed so far in the shoulder. Not well, an He's got to get that checked out. That could be that could be damage yeah. to the rotator cuff. <laughs> Ouch! That's was that was that joke? I liked it. Okay. I liked it, and it's it's doing them side bends now. Side bend. These are good to stretch out your obliques and your rib cage mm -hmm. area. You want to lift that arm above your head, really lean into it. Um, legs here, also ratcheted. You can put. You're, the delight on your face. <laughs> what is happening with you right now? You are so giddy about this piece, and I love it. It's it's an, it's it's neat. He's very very neat. Um, so putting the hip out um, to the side is ratcheted. Also toward the front is also okay. That's good. That means you can hold the pose. It's more right. It's exactly. So because we're gonna probably be doing dynamic poses with a figure like this. Um, He's going to be able to hold them, and you're not going to have to worry that the joints loose. Yeah. Okay. That's that's. I think that's often a, a frequent question: is well, I kind of want to do this neat pose, and then it's going to go. Oh. Yeah, like over time, gravity. Uh, over time, the, the, the arm is going to look sloppy. Um, and I I don't think you're going to have that um, with this one, with this one here. Um, okay. If we're going to raise the feet up, have him go in there. Uh, it's not really showing specifically, but we're going to do it this way. Hold your finger on the bottom and then do the whole piece. Okay, raise the whole piece. and Because what it's telling you not to do is by uh, pushing the heel. It's telling you not to just push the heel. So by when I went there, I equaled the pressure out about the whole thing. Because this little back piece is not connected. We got it. It's not supposed to be connected. So um, don't worry when you're posing this. You go, uh oh, the glue popped off. I got to call, uh, you know, call sideshow and ask about it. No, that's supposed to do that. Um, but when you're doing it, as we've talked about, that's going to be an area that you're going to be wanting a little gentle. Be gentle with those tootsies, huh? <laughs> Keep them safe. Yeah. Spider-Man um, needs his feet. I do love the bend. In those, in the shoes. Yeah, it really does add that. That's a, that's a up. really neat. Um, there's another figure I hope we're going to get to do where they've done a really cool foot thing that I, I saw. Well, who's that? Flash. Have yeah. you seen that one yet? Okay. It's really neat. It's a sideshow Flash that's got some really uh, neat articulation with the uh, with the feet there too, um, which looks really cool. Um, I was like, yeah, no, make a request. Maybe uh, we'll do an episode on it. Um, but uh, we'll hit up Mel. See if. You can but anyway. 
Um, that's something that it tells you about, and I do want you to be cautious of. Uh, but I also want you to, when you receive it, that you don't think, uh-oh, it's pulled away. It's not supposed to be there. No. The, it's got a little bit of give there. The black on there, on the sides, should be tight up against it, though. Okay? Um, but again, anytime you're down there, realize that it's a little bit fragile. Not fragile, but... It's, it's something to be aware. It's, I think it's what you're saying is it's something to be aware of. Like, don't be afraid, but be gentle. Right. Like, yeah. When yeah. you're doing this, and we've talked about posing like that, is, is, um, you know. There's something to be said about the sheer artistry of having you go and, and work one of these, and it looks like he's just started an Olympic sprint. Well, I'm, I'm again. Um, with the particularly with like a Spider-Man, um, maybe if I was playing the game and got any good at it, I, I would probably pause it um, and have a really neat shot and go, "Oh, that's what I'm going to have him do." My guy just falls off buildings because I'm not any good at it. Um, but I do like to look at the comics or the movies or something like that and go, "That's a frame I'd really like." There are comics in you this, know that's in this world. Yeah, too, in this yeah. world. So. Um, so what you do, how you, how you're going to do them is, is your choice. Guy, which is your favorite Spider-Man film? Um, let's see, um, it's kind of a fun story. Um, I like the very first one, the Tobey Maguire one. Um, I, Sam Raimi, who, who did that one, went to the very same, um, summer camp. There's a lot of other people in the Michigan area mm -hmm. called Camp Tamaqua. And I had the sweatshirt. We all had the sweatshirts from that. And in the movie where Green Goblin comes in and says, man, Peter Parker's room is messy, there is the sweatshirt on the floor. And he hides it in all of so his movies. So that's why that's your favorite And so movie? that was kind of neat because yeah, I was like, hey, funny. I oddly enough happened to be wearing it the day of the movie. You were wearing your Camp Tanaqua So sweatshirt. I thought that was neat. So um, I liked that one. However... Um, that was because that was my first introduction to a big screen. Um, Ever? It, They've been having them for years. Well, no, no. I mean, for Spider-Man, um, I I remember. Oh, okay. I remember the TV one uh, when I was younger. Yeah. I posted that one. Um, uh, your dynamic stand. Let's take a look at that. Um, but I. Is there a Camp Tanaqua hoodie in that? Uh, no, in that package? no, but that be it'd be the wrong, six wrong film hoodie, wrong film series. Um, but I really like the way that they are portraying Spider Man now. Um, Tom Holland stuff. Yeah, I think Tom Holland is really great. My answer was into the Spider Verse, but nobody asked me. It's not I was going to ask. No, you. no, that's fine. I was I going to. No, 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 oh. it's fine. Okay, fine. if they did no one issues. figure from Into the Spider Verse, which one do you want? From Into the Spider-Verse? Yeah. Uh, oh, come on. I mean, I ki like, here's the weird part. I would love a Sienkiewicz-style um, kingpin, the way they the way they did mm. that. I really liked the way they... Okay, they, you don't want a Spider-Man. I mean, Batman I would Batman. like a Spider-Man, obviously. Like, you know, a Spider-Man noir. So I that's have a Nicholas my Cage. guy. But, uh, I'd love but, to have that. But, man, that kingpin, the way they took the Bill Sienkiewicz um, sort of design, the way he drew it, and then they... Plus, Lev Schreiber doing it. Like, come on. That's pretty cool. Um, let's take a look at his dynamic base. Yeah, bro. Okay. So, um, take a tight on the turntable here. On this one here, it's actually telling you which suit it is. Didn't say that on the other ones. Um, but it is telling you on this one here. Um, the Make top of it, suit however... Means he owes one suit, right? Yes. Um, so I know what that means. There we go. Good. I didn't want to get any glare on there. Oh, that's cool. Um, it kind of has this smoky quality. and Almost like a black marble. Mm-hmm. And it is kind of the texture of the suit. In really? The, in the back. In the, the background of it is the texture of the suit with, like, smoke over it. That's super rad. Okay. And that new design of the spider. Um Dynamic stands, we've shown these before, which allow you one screw on there, you unscrew there, 
top part here slides up. Now, um, this little bit here can be used, I've, I've swapped it in, in either direction and I think it really will depend on your pose, how you, you kind of use that as a brace. If I was gonna have Spider-Man kind of in a back arch or something like that, I'd wanna have that yeah. kind of in the lower area. These are padded, hopefully he can, our cameraman can see that. The interior, the clamp and the back do have a foam pad on there, so don't be concerned. Oh, that's so polite. That it's going to uh, damage uh, your figure. But again, that gives just a little bit more back support on it if I have it. So this is if I wanted to kind of, we talked about the, you know, did I want to have the feet straight down and, you know, you're leaping kind of quality. He's leaping. Again, he's, come, we're not... he's ju jumping out of the out of a bush at you to frighten you. <laughs> <laughs> we're not uh, you weirdo. Now it looks like Frankenstein. Look. But you can do. I know this isn't how to be a poser. No, this isn't the the poser show because that's one that um, that I want to watch. Um, but um, I think you just want to desperately be on that show, which is why you. No, keep I just, I want I like watching that show. I like watching the show because. Um, even as somebody who's got a lot of these things, um, to learn little tricks is really a neat idea. I, I, I know friends that have started collecting that'll be like, well, I'm gonna wait until you show up and then we'll pose them together, which is, which is fun and one of my favorite things to do when I get home. But it is neat for them to watch that and go, oh, okay, I can do this, I can do this. I did, I I did notice something, some people were saying that the support might actually go on his butt uh, you could, like yeah. It might be upside down. Whereas well, you know, um, I put it that way because I was talking about if I was going to do a, oh, okay. a back one, but yes. You can do it that rump way. Rump support. And then you can have that sweet, sweet, sweet rump support. <laughs> lower, <laughs> lower lumbar. Support. No, no, no. Rumps. Sweet rump support. Um, but yeah, but it, um, it is important that you can see that. He looks like he's about to do the crane kick. Like he's mid -crime. Well, I would say Spider-Man is the best around. I would say. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it's been fun doing it, but I know you're never going to have me back after I throw a Karate Kid joke out. I think he looks like he's leaping into a ballet. After, into a what? Into like a ballet leap. You know? Yes. Um, you know, there was a Broadway show. Maybe what we need now is a Spider-Man ballet. A little into the dark. You're I don't know if that's what we need. But I don't think we need. I don't think we need that at all. We got a glimpse. It would just be a hot toys of different actors being injured, right? Isn't well, that what it would be. It'd be you know all the different suits. I don't know. You you tell us. Would you like to see a no a I ballet? I don't want that information. Um, if you're <laughs> you tell us. Yeah, you tell us. If you're going to uh, display that stand, look at that. So oh, look at my fingerprints all over there. But yeah, get that off. That's evidence. Boom. Cleaned up. Um, he's a really, really neat figure. I know there's, if you have the advanced suit, you're wondering what um, is really different. Obviously the dynamic look um, and stark contrast of the black and white on this particular figure um, is gonna be a huge uh, uh, difference of the two. I have one request to make because yeah. I know we gotta start wrapping up mm -hmm. soon. Um, you said that the box, inside the box, oh, was, yes. uh, some bonuses, um, and I would love, love, love to see what those are. I only got a cursory glance at them, and then you put them away, hoping I would forget about them. Yes. But I didn't, Drat. because I pay attention occasionally Drat. once he in a while. He pays attention to the show. Every rare opportunity when I pay attention, this is one of them. All so, right. Guy, what... what did you have there? Like it looked like inside here. It like says book plates or something. Yeah, it's done on there with a little sticker. So when you uh, do it, uh, be a little cautious. I've not done this yet, so I'm curious to see how this is. But this is they're referring to it as his Spidey sense. If we can see that in the oh. upper right now, you're just seeing kind of a a lot of glare it's a on the plastic. It's not what that is. 
His what? I said it looks like a splooch. Although it's it a doesn't, splooch. Not, now that it's out of the box, it doesn't. Look yes. Like um, that is a web, and I think it might be like a sticker um, oh. that you do. It doesn't really say. It doesn't say in the directions. In the directions. This is one thing it doesn't say in the directions is what exactly our, our splooch there is. I'm not seeing a, often with a sticker, it'll have a kind of a cut on the back where you, it'll uh, fold in half, but, um, however, this is what it's showing us. And this is his spidey sense. Ooh, tingly. All right, now, according to directions, and thank you, Jeff, for pulling this out, because, yeah. Um, like I said, I paid attention. You know, that's why I make the big bucks. All right, so get it. According to this, I don't. <laughs> we okay. Oh boy, you like according to this, we tear it in half. Well, I'm not. I don't want to rip it. Well, I wouldn't want you to. Um, it's got a little doohickey in here that we have to. I mean, I'm assuming. Guy, if I'm guessing, you have to like take the head off or something. Yes. And then yes. and then peg it up on the doohickey. Yes. Thing? What you do? Is we remove said head. Classic. It's always like guy tearing the heads off stuff. Tearing the heads off things. And it's kind of like I'm a big necklace. We pop this down, and push it inside the back of the head, and then snap it back down. Now because this was. That kind of thing. I was not. Uh, I didn't want to take it out of the package first. Okay, I'm having to. This is terrifying. Yeah, it, 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 yep. Yep. I mean, this this turns scary. Guy with a blade. This turns scary. Okay, and we then pull it down again, following the instructions. Oh, okay, I see. And then you fold that thing onto the peg, and then you put the head on, and then it's got the spidey sense behind it. Oh, that's so cool! Oh. Uh, poor guy has to do everything like upside down and backwards, and it's, it's so, so. There we go. Oh, that's actually awesome. It's wow. it's kind of well. Um, Hold up something black behind. Yeah, it, um, or, like put up the case behind his head. The black, the black insert, insert. Guy no, right in front of you. is actually white. No, and gray. guy, no, stuff. guy, He's right in front of you. The black it. plastic. Oh, just hold that right behind it. Well, if I just do that, so then you can well, see. Well, because all the all the stuff is gonna fall out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I feel like you could have held it laterally, but it's fine. Do uh, you want me to just go there? Or just no, stand no. Stand behind it. Why? Because of your dark dark spirit. Yes, I'm gonna. Well, that sounds like you broke something. Great nope, job, that's guy. all the little stuff that... That looks really cool. It'd be cool if you backlighted it. Yeah, man, I'm going to be honest. When I first saw that, I was like, what's that stupid thing? Okay. And now I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. That's how I'd post it. So anyway, that's um, that's a little thing that's in there. I mean... That's a shout-out to... It's kind of a fun... I mean, that's obviously looking very comic book. That's that's a shout-out to Hot Toys for like knowing how to do something where when you first look at it, you're like... Oh, that's weird. But they had the vision to be like, no, 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 trust me, this is going to work. It's going to be fun. And it really does. It's going to be fun. Put that up against something with a black background, and I feel like that thing would pop. Pop. It's pretty wild, isn't it? Um, Bree, are there any questions about specifics with this figure that we need to get into? Um, not at the moment. We covered it all, right? Yeah, we've kind of covered it as we've gone through. Well, I hope, hope we did, folks. I like it. I like it too. I like it. I want this toy. Two thousand. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, some people are saying yeah, the payoff on that Spidey sense really paid off. Uh, it was really, really great. And I agree. I think it's really cool. I was not. I'm very surprised uh, at how cool it looks um, with the Spidey sense it's behind different. it. Yeah, it's a wild little look. Um, um, and he's uh, from the back. He's like a glam rocker. Yeah. Spidey is so which is nice. A glam rocker. Well, you know, Spidey. this is the edited scene from Rocket Man or something. I don't know. Oh, it could be just Spider Man Three. There you go. I mean, it's not. It's Marvel's Spider Man because this is the six scale negative suit Spider Man from Hot Toys from Marvel's Spider Man, and you can check this out by going to side dot show slash unseal Spidey, and you can take a look at that baby real. 
real quick. Uh, Breeze looks sounds like sounds like she's dropping that in the comments right now, so you can check that out right now. Um, Guy, any last words on this piece or? I I dig it. The black and white to me is really a neat idea. Yeah, it's pretty um, cool. Maybe I'll get better at the game and get to actually play with the figure at that right? spot. <laughs> but um, my he's... friend wrote that game. It was pretty cool. Really? Yeah, he came on. Oh, you don't listen to my podcast. It's like game nice. of the year. It's a great game. It's a fantastic. Uh, the universe is fantastic. The comics are great. Uh, all of it. Uh, shout out to Christos Gage for that. Uh, Guy, thank you thank infinitely. You. For going we'll through this uh, piece with us. I am really excited about it. Uh, again, this is the Negative Suit Spidey 6 scale from Hot Toys uh, from Marvel's Spider-Man. Uh, thank you, Brie, on the ones and twos for checking out your questions, comments, and concerns. We are here every Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 5 o'clock for you East Coasters. Uh, and I don't know the rest. There's Mountain, there's Central. You guys can figure it out. Uh, we uh, Don't forget to check out the Let Your Geek Side Show Facebook group where we go live uh, often and do a lot of cool stuff. So check that out. Don't forget to go to our YouTube page. Hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you get those push notifications when a video like this is about to go up. Uh, I feel like we've covered everything now. I think we have. So on behalf of Guy and Bree, I'm Jeff May. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate that. This has been Unsealed and Revealed. And don't forget to let your geek side show. Take off. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.